Okay, uh, Vincent Company is to join Anderlecht as their new player manager. Uh, this is a really um, rare role in football. There's very few player managers uh, in modern uh, professional football at the top level. Um, so that's going to be really interesting to see uh, how how he does at Anderlecht, because Anderlecht have got, um, are a club in crisis in Belgium. There's a lot going on off the field that's of negative headlines. There's investigations into match fixing and, and corruption claims against the club. And also the club could miss out on European qualification for the first time, I think, in 35 years. So he's joining a club that's in a very difficult period in its history. And it's going to be a very difficult job for him. It's not going to be an easy, easy ride. But clearly the Anderlecht club feel that he is the right man for that role. Uh, obviously, they, they feel he can contribute on the playing field and on the touchline. And Vincent Company, because he's had so many injuries the last few years, he's obviously spent a lot of time not being able to train, whereby he's been studying the game uh, from a different point of view. He's clearly learnt from Mancini, Pellegrini and and Guardiola because he's seen how these guys coach. He's seen how these guys have won titles. And... You know, that's had an, imp- an impact on him. He wants to get into management. And, you know, since joining from Hamburg in 2008, he stuck through that, that tough initial period when the, the Mansell takeover took over and they weren't winning trophies and, the, and their future wasn't certain that they were going to win all this silverware. Um, it took them a good few years to, to win their first trophy. Now they've won four, F, uh, four league titles, two FA Cups and four League Cups. So they've won a lot of trophies by being patient. Um, success doesn't happen overnight. Uh, and Vincent Company is one of those few stalwarts who's been there for every single title alongside David Silva. Um, a lot of players have come into the club and come out of the club. Um, they've had players come through their youth system that have now moved on. Uh, they've, you know, they, they've... He's one of those stalwarts of the squad. And there were some who, was exp- uh, who, who were hoping he would re-sign for another season. But I think the pace of the Premier League has caught up to him. And I think the fact that he's had so many injuries, I think he wants to, you know, wind down his career in the right way. And Anderlecht is the club where he started his professional career. So for him to end his career at Anderlecht and get into management at Anderlecht, I think he's a fitting way for Vincent Company uh, to, to end uh, as a player and begin as a manager. And you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he does come back to Man City at some point in the future in a coaching capacity. I would not be surprised in the slightest. Uh, but he's obviously got to cut his teeth at Anderlecht first. Um, Obviously, he also played some time at Hamburg, and that's how he got, you know, scouted uh, by Man City and brought into Man City. Uh, they, I think they played them in the uh, UEFA Cup, which is now the Europa League. He had an impact because he clearly was, you know, on the winning side for Hamburg. Man City uh, decided if we can't beat him, he might as well. If we can't beat him, we might as well have him. They saw a talent there. Um, and and they snapped him up before another club did. Uh, at that time, Hamburg were a, a top-end Bundesliga side. They were one of the, the, the top five, six clubs in the Bundesliga. Much has changed since 2008. I, I must stress, they did get relegated from the Bundesliga uh, last year. So, <laughs> Hamburg and Man City have gone in different directions. Man City was struggling to, to, to break that top four. Hamburg were in the European places uh, in the Bundesliga. Vincent Company moves from Hamburg to Man City. Hamburg are now out of the Bundesliga uh, and Man City are the first English side to win the domestic treble. So it, it's mad. Uh, Hamburg's one of, the, uh, one of the biggest clubs in Germany, not in the German top flight. Uh, you know, Man City, uh, historical club that they are, went a long period of time without a trophy. I think it was 1976 was the last trophy they won before 2011. So they went a long time with no silverware. And now they've been the most consistent team for the last decade. Um, he is going to be missed. He has a massive uh, presence on, on the team. I have noticed when I've seen Man City play, they look better defensively with him in the side. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see who actually fills that leadership void in the back four. Who's going to be that that leader of the back four? Uh, David Silva, obviously, has been a very good standing captain with Vincent Company. He hasn't played. Um how long has he got left at City as well? I mean, you know, will he end his contract there? Or will he actually be, you know, will he be snapped up in the transfer? I think he's going to end his career as a City player, personally. He did sign a contract extension, but you never know. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see who fills that defensive void there. Now, is Otto Mendy and, and, and John Stones and Laporte, are they the centre-backs they're going to stick with for the next couple of years? 
or are they going to bring someone else in because Vincent Company's moved out? Are they going to look in their youth system and, and develop some players to come in? That's going to be an interesting thing over the next two, three, four, five seasons. What direction that back four or back five or back three, whatever formation they decide to use, takes in that defence. But Vincent Company, he's been a cornerstone of that defence and he's been one of the reasons why they've won so much silverware. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Place your comments below and I'll have some more videos for you very, very soon.